Hey guys and welcome. So today we're going to be editing a newborn basically only in Photoshop. First things first, always white balance and then I always enable the lens corrections and basically turn up the vignetting all the way and then I basically because I shoot only in white I remove all the color from everywhere especially the yellows. So then I just go into luminance and I see you know, like what's popping, what isn't. Do I want it flat? Do I want it brighter? Uh, magenta and those purples usually are on fingers or toes. So I try to stay as wary as possible about that um, and make sure that I'm not like desaturating too much because obviously those colors still exist and you can just change the hue on them. Um, but yeah, I mean, with the few little clicks, we're there. Spot correcting, I had a piece of dust on my lens for the longest time and it drove me crazy. But basically, spot correcting, you can do very lightly. Um, you also have the, you have heel and then you have clone. So I like to use heel because it kind of chooses the location and it kind of like blends them together. And then you can just keep going. Just keep going until you're happy with it. If you guys hear me sipping, I'm sorry, I'm drinking coffee because I need it. <laughs> so now I like to clip my whites, not too much, but I do. And then I always do this kind of curve when it comes to whites because I want them to be really light and airy. So I'll always drag it like kind of close to the highlights. Now we're going to really work on a, the baby's skin because we kind of kind of got it too bright. So I'll just use brushes. And um, I try to keep it with the auto mask on so that it's not affecting parts that I don't want it to. So I'm just bringing back that little corner part of the blanket because, or the wrap I should say, because the sun was hitting on that a lot stronger than it was on my bean bag cover. And then we're just bringing back highlights and stuff. Um, the reds, I like to turn them up a little bit, but you'll see that I'll like keep editing them. Um, here is where you will change most of the tone of your overall image, um, especially if you have like jaundiced babies or if you have babies with redness. Thankfully, this baby was, I believe, two weeks old. So um, yeah, the, most of the the only problem we had was really redness, but that's so common and so normal. <laughs> and then we are just trying to combat that right now. So we're trying to just make sure that the redness doesn't look too much. Um, and that we're also just kind of exposing baby as baby should be exposed. And then now with another brush, we're going to go down here and we're going to select a color. So kind of skin tony color. And we're going to go ahead and just brush that on. And then if you notice, I'm over here like, why is it not showing up? But it really is. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush that on. And all this is doing is it's kind of um, overlaying a color on top of whatever, you know, is underneath. So we're trying to um, blend the skin together. So instead of having, you know, the redness underneath, we're trying to make it a skin, like a skin tone color. And then we're going to go ahead and hit new. And then we're gonna remove a little bit of the magenta, especially in the um, the red areas. So we're just swiping that over, and then we're just creating like a bunch of brushes. Again, just working on that red. And this time, what we're gonna do is we are going to change the density. So we're gonna make it a lot more dramatic. And you'll notice that now we have a Cheeto baby, but that's okay because <laughs> we're gonna bring it down. And so we just want to make sure we can see it. And there we go. So see, we bring in saturation up. It kind of shows a little bit more. And that's where we are right now. And we're going to go ahead and just restart to brush. So now we are going to work on the skin tone. So um, we worked on the reds a little bit. So now we're going to try to blend the skin together a little bit more. I know I'm going to keep saying blend the skin. It's just light room for skin is not ideal, um, spe specifically for hues because newborns, you need to really target hues. 
Um, so we're just trying to mimic what would happen in Lightroom, I mean in Photoshop. But if you're not familiar with Photoshop, I wanted to create this video to show you how. Um, but anyways, back to the video. So I'm just showing you like what we did before and afters. And then we're going to try to remove um, this little uh, stork bite from here. And there's a few ways we can do it. We can do it this way. And always Lightroom's going to try to choose the best option for you. Um, we can do clone and just have it feathered. Or we can do heal, which you're going to see clone right now. And it doesn't really look natural. So I think what I'm going to have to do is just work on it. Um, but if we turn it down a little bit, it does take it away but it also doesn't really help with the um, the redness so I'm gonna go ahead and create another brush and just kind of keep wiping and wiping and wiping it on at the end of the day babies are red it doesn't matter if baby has it um, but if you're trying to be you know super perfectionist then yeah you may want to bring this into Photoshop at the end but I'm just trying to show you guys like a way to like avoid Photoshop, especially for beginners because Photoshop seems so intimidating. So now we're going to do the fun stuff, which I call the pops. So what we're going to do is we're going to brush this on the lips, the eyelashes, the hair, basically anything that has like detail or darkness. We're going to just create depth. So now we're going to do my favorite thing, which is making everything white. <laughs> so all this is, is um, it's creating that more airy effect. And then please note that I have auto mask on. So auto mask is on. It's not going to affect the skin unless I go over the skin. Um, but even then, look at the, look at her cheek. Like, by her cheek, there's still color there. Why? Because it's not within the same range of color that the blanket is. So it's not going to affect that the same that it would affect, you know, the whites. So it's just targeting the whites. So if you ever want to do like some quick like white editing, just start off on a white and just keep brushing because honestly that's the fastest thing I've found. And then you can go in close and see how now it's affecting it because I literally went into there and clicked it. So it's like, okay, so it's, it's okay to use it here. So I'm going to go ahead and hit done. This is before and after. So we've done a, quite a bit of things. Um, and then, yeah, see, so just with those um, those target brushes, that alone was so much. And then uh, pumping up clarity. And then shadows, too. Even though shadows, honestly, probably don't need to be up. And then kind of debating on the vibrance. But I think we're good. We can kind of. Remove a little bit of the redness here in white balance. But again, this is to taste. So if you feel like you would have done something a little bit different, you can totally do that. This is just to show you how I would work an image or a newborn image in Photoshop. So now, oh, and then this dehaze is amazing. But when you're doing light and airy stuff, not the best. So see, I turned off the shadows. I really didn't need it. But down here, I'm turning it down because it's affecting, <laughs> it affects differently. I don't know why I don't, if anybody in the comment section or in the blog post section can like explain to me why this affects it differently. Great. So now we're just going into um, luminance and sometimes brighter isn't better. <laughs> so we're just darkening it. And I'm going to go ahead and copy this, and then I'm going to show you guys something really cool. So I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to edit this as much as I can. And you'll notice it's not going to be perfect, but we have some workarounds. 
So first things first, we're going to try to take away the distractions. And then all I did, you guys, was copy and paste. So all that work we just did, boom, it's on here. And then this is what I mean by we're going to have to work because you don't get like separated pixels. You get the pixels that are literally around each other. So I'm creating a brush that is the Clarity and basically my white brush. So my white brush and I am trying so hard <laughs> to make this blend and I mean at the end it kind of blends and then all we're going to do is we're going to try to get rid of these little edges but it is possible. It is possible. Trust me. Um, and yeah we're just we're just trucking on just got to keep reselecting reselecting um, and then now we're actually going to work on baby kind of forget about that little edge there for a second and we come back to it <laughs> so let's go ahead and just dehaze this just literally what dehaze and clarity does is it makes everything just like gone so if you ever come up like with this problem this would probably help. And then all I'm doing is just removing basically anything and everything from the image. Um, you'll notice that she's wearing kind of a greenish um, headband. So it did take away all the yellow from the green and I also desaturated the green. So it is gonna be gone. Um, so all I'm doing is I was just bringing it back. And then from here, I'm just kind of tweaking the curves because backlit images are obviously different than any other kind of lighting scenario. So you just kind of figure out what works. And then we're going to try to mimic the same kind of uh, editing on the skin tone that we did. So first things first, we're going to bring up the whites on this side. Well, by this side, I'm literally meaning the side that's closest to us. Um, so we're just trying to make it look poppy, but not too poppy. And then we're fixing those little highlights there. Um, just because they kind of like, well, I wouldn't say that they're blown out, but they're, they're pretty light. Just to try to bring back some detail. And you can do this by just doing exposure and also doing um, highlights. And you can also do whites as well. The whites will uh, make it look flatter, which is kind of what we're avoiding. So now clarity, and then we're just gonna work on the skin. And I'm actually gonna fast forward this part specifically because um, you guys already saw it. <laughs> so all we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna brush it all over. <laughs> Also, um, I did right before I fast forward this, um, you'll notice that her legs are a different color. So that happens a lot with newborns. Like I was saying before that the magentas the, and the purples, they're usually on extremities. That's because uh, newborns have pro poor um, not blood circulation, uh, well that too, but they have, um, they can't really regulate their temperature so their extremities get pretty purpley. So what usually has to happen is that you'll target the feet or you'll target the hands and then you'll bump up the, um, the temp or the tint and, um, or even saturation and you kind of just work with that and you try to make that work um, for just specifically the feet and the hands and you'll see me do that in a little bit. So one problem you might come across is uh, differentiating. So I just enabled it right now, so you're not going to be able to see it. But um, usually what I do is I would click wherever the differentiating is. Um, by that, I mean it's like literally a purple or a blue line, and you'll sometimes see them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to disable it for you guys to see. So you see that little purple-ish line that was right there? Well. Lightroom actually fixed it for me instead of like me having to manually fix it. <laughs> so 
now I'm just going to go get and, and like kind of like fix her skin. i um, doing some um, skin work, but like kind of making her skin soft. Okay, let's get on to the feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that it needs to be warmed up. So I'm basically just messing with the temp. You see how that's like helping a lot? So I will take this over to her little leg anywhere that looks pretty cold and kind of work with that, with what, well, whatever my brush is. And then this is the before and the after. And this is this before and after. And that's just with light. So if you wanted to be even more, you know, specific and change things, you can bring this into Photoshop. But I think they look great. I think you can definitely tweak them a little bit more. Like I feel like now after seeing them that they look a little bit magenta, but as is life. So you just export. And what I do is I just put it on my desktop and create a subfolder. And that's it. And you just export. Um, oh yeah, make sure that you can change the file name if you want to. File settings at 100. Um, resolution at 300 because 300 is uh, basically what you need for printing. So if anybody really wants to print their images, they need it at 300. So that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you had a great time and you learned something new. Bye!